Two firefighters were hurt while battling yet another fire in Buffalo. Two separate fires broke out overnight, and now several families are without a place to call home. News 4's Angela Cristoforos joins us from the scene of the most recent fire on Winter Street with a warning from the fire battalion chief and the Red Cross. The fire here at 51 Winter Street broke early this morning, and it's now at least the fourth fire Buffalo firefighters have fought within the past 24 hours. When we got here, the flames were shooting out of the back of the house. Our guys made a quick entry, made it to the attic, and got water on the fire right away. Firefighters spent two hours battling flames in bone chilling temperatures. Two firefighters were burned in the process and were both treated for facial injuries at ECMC. Weather like this, we're, we're all frozen up, our gear is frozen, our tools, everything covered with ice. So it, it makes it quite difficult. It was especially difficult since firefighters already spent three hours fighting a three alarm fire on Tonawanda Street before heading to the fire on Winter Street. Everything's just so icy and the guys are so fatigued. Wednesday morning, Buffalo firefighters also fought fires on Jones Street and Clare Street. Now several families are displaced as a result of all these fires. A Red Cross disaster program specialist says fires are frequent when the temperatures drop and is warning people to take caution. Some people use space heaters. Um, it's always important to plug space heaters and, and large appliances to actual outlets instead of power strips and oftentimes that causes fires. The fire battalion chief says the fire on Winter Street started in the attic near a wall heater. I would say to anyone who's a tenant to, to have their landlord check out their space heaters and make sure that they're uh, they're good quality and they're in good shape. The fire here on Winter Street caused about $75,000 worth of damage. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. In Buffalo, Angela Cristoforos, News 4.